Dual setup phones and mix. As the K2 is bus powered, it is ideal for mixing on the move. But it is also possible to run two K2s using only one USB port on your computer. You can do this by connecting the two K2s together via X-Link. This will give you twice the control without using two USB ports on your computer. For example, complete four deck control, additional sampler control, or eight channels of control per layer in Ableton. Your zone K2s must transmit on different MIDI channels to each other to avoid MIDI conflicts. By default, the zone K2 transmits on MIDI channel 15, so set one of the K2s to any MIDI channel other than 15. The two zone K2 units will be daisy chained together. Starting from the K2 at the end of the chain, connect the X-Link out socket to the X-Link in socket on the other K2. Next, connect the USB cable to the K2 that has X-Link in connected. All audio connections will be made to the K2 that has the USB lead connected. Use the audio out RCA connectors on the rear of the K2 to connect to power speakers or an amplifier. Plug your headphones into the K2 using the 3.5mm socket at the front of the unit. In your chosen software application, set your monitor or headphone output to sound card outputs 1 and 2. This will route the Q bus to your headphones. Route your mix output to sound card outputs 3 and 4. This will route the mix output to your speakers. From the Preferences window in Tractor, click on Audio Setup and select Audio Device. Choose Zone K2 from the list. Now set your output routing. Make sure your mixing mode is on internal and your output monitor and output master as shown. From the preferences window in Ableton, select audio and select audio output device. Choose zone K2 from the list. Now set your output config. Make sure 1, 2 stereo and 3, 4 stereo are enabled. Choose OK. Check that Qout displays 1, 2. And Master Out displays 3, 4. From the Preferences window in Tractor, click on Audio Setup and select Audio Device. Choose Zone K2 USB ASIO driver from the list. Now set your output routing. Make sure your mixing mode is on internal and set your output monitor and output master as shown. From the Preferences window in Ableton, select Audio and make sure the driver type is set to ASIO. In the Audio Device list, choose the Zone K2 USB ASIO driver. Now set your output config. Make sure 1, 2 stereo and 3, 4 stereo are enabled. Choose OK. Check that Qout displays 1, 2 and Master Out displays 3, 4. To import the Tractor MIDI map known as a TSI file, in the Preferences window in Tractor, select Controller Manager. Choose Import. Browse to the save location of the TSI file you wish to load. Select and open it. In the Categories to Import window, select OK. Make sure that the MIDI device import and output are set to Zone K2 for both devices in the K2 map. To import the Ableton MIDI map, known as an ALS file, select Open Live Set from the File menu. Browse to the save location of the ALS file you wish to load. Select and open it. You will see the layout change according to the ALS file you have chosen. Now open the Preferences panel. Choose MIDI Sync tab. On the MIDI ports, set the Zone K2 input track on and remote on. Then set the Zone K2 output track on and remote on.